listening in class to Daily English, American Textbook Reading, Social Study Week Three, Lesson Eight. Let's start. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lesson Today. I'm Ranster. Well, this lesson, Lesson Eight, we're going to be learning about Part Three. America long ago. Well, you will discover about settlers. Where early American settlers has come from, right? Well, we will learn about that in this lessons. Okay. Well, now let's get start. You see, what do we have in our lessons? Okay, the first word here we have is. Journey. Journey is traveling. You're traveling to a place, especially at a long distance. It is kind of like a travel. It's traveling to place, especially at a long distance and in dangerous distance, right? Well, doing like this. Well, what is the difference between journey and trip? Journey and trip. What the difference? Well, their difference is that journey is very long. It's long and it's usually by boat or by land, right? But trip usually is by is by airplanes, usually like that, right? Okay. Okay. The next word here we have. Is explorers. Explorer, a person who travels to an area to learn about it. Okay. Well, a person who travels to an area. It is a person who travels. Okay. They travel to an area where they explore. So they explore. They just explorers. They come here, and they learn more about something. Not stay here, right? They not like immigrants. Okay, the next word here we have is adventure. Okay, adventure. What does it mean here? Well, adventure is a journey. It is a journey or event. What unknown danger? Maybe is there in danger, but we don't know. It will have a danger in or event, right? We don't know if there's a adventure that we can have, right? We don't know about it. We just know that we are traveling. We don't know that we are out in nature with some dangers around. Right? We don't know about it. We just know that there will be something that maybe can be dangerous. We don't know what time will the danger be. What time will be dangerous? Right? We just know that we're in a place where we do something. Okay. The next word here we have is colonists. Colonists. A colonist is a people. Who lived in a new, in a newly built town? Well, this is called colonists, and colonists are people who kind of like explorers. But the difference is that they go to the place, but then they stay there. They're like immigrants. They stay there. They don't move to other places anymore, right? Maybe moving, but not move to another country, another town, right? Just move somewhere to buy something, right? So like that, comes a person who lives in a newly built town, okay? So remember like that. Colonists, a person who lives in a newly settled town. Okay, the next word is settlement. Settlement. Settlement means a small town in a very new area. Well, it's not new to all, right? It's just new to the people who have moved here, right? 
It is a small town in the Neal area. It's called Settlement. And here we have is copper. Copper is a kind of metal that is red round, kind of like wood. And it is usually it's soft, right? It's not hard like real metal. It is a little bit soft. It's just kind of like wood, right? But no, it isn't. It is a kind of metal. Okay. So remember, the next word here we have is lumber. Lumber is a wood that is cut up to be used. Well, a wood that is cut up to be all used, right? Well, this can be very flat. It is even, right? And it looks like a big rectangle. Well, now let's come to our chart here. We have cellar roots to new land. Well, from England, they are bricks, and why did they move to England? Why did they move to the United States? It's because they don't want to be in Lord anymore. They want to be free. They want to have freedom. Well, they move to this place, and we've learned that Plymouth is the first group of people finishing coming to America. And next is Jamestown. Well, they have to go through all the way. They go all over Atlantic Ocean. It's a very big route. Sometimes we say route, like the roots, right? Or we say route. Okay? Well, remember like that. Roots or route. So this is our roots. Okay? A whole big route from England to the United States, okay? Well, do you know that England, England is the first country that has people who come to the United States. Then it goes to Mexico, Canada, and all this country in Europe, right? Many countries then move to this place. Well, we are going to be learning about a special thing that we love it. Well, it's called English colonies. These are the colonies that well, that moved to the United States, and they're the first colonies. Well, now let's see. In the past, England was has been divided into many colonies, and we're going to be learning about two of them. Well, first is Jamestown Colony. James Jamestown Colony was the first successful settlement in North America. The first successful. In North America, not in America, but in North, in the North of America, it moved from the North, right? And it moved all the way to the North, North America. And it was the first country who moved to the North. And next is Black Mount County. The settlers were families of English pilgrims. Remember pilgrims? And they sailed to North America for religious freedom. They want freedom, so they moved to America. So they sailed to America, okay? They sailed to North America for religious freedom. Well, we've learned about two colonies, Jamestown and Plymouth. Let's come to the chart. The early Americans made a long and dangerous journey across the Atlantic Ocean to America. A long, dangerous, big journey across the Atlantic. They were explorers discovering a new land and trading with the Native Americans for copper and arts materials. The life of early Americans was real adventure. They had to cut lumbers to make their home and build their own future. That's kind of hard, right? It's not easy like we buy today, right? They need to make it by themselves. Colonists came to America to find a better life. Colonists are people who stay in colonies. They live in settlements called Jamestown and Plymouth, growing their own food. They grow their own food and working together to survive. They work together, work together to survive. Survive while working together. With the help of the Native American tribes, with the real Native Americans, the first settlers were able to get the things they need and learn about the land. So the Native American people helped a lot, right? 
The lives of first sellers in America were very hard at first. At first. But by working together and helping each other, they made a happy new real life. Well, now let's come to chart or last part. Main ideas and details. The life of only American was a real journey. No, journey was just the time where people traveled. When we say it was a real adventure. They speak with Native Americans for covers and other materials. They trade with Native Americans for covers and other materials. No, not actually. We read that they do something together, right? They they share with Native Americans covers and other materials. That's right. They have to cut. They have to cut woods or more clear, we say, they have to cut lumbers to make their own homes and build their own um, houses. Yes, to make their homes and build their own houses. But I think that house, house wouldn't be a great enough word, right? I think furniture. They built their own furniture. Remember? They live in colonies called Jamestown right now. Why do you say colonies? Because you see, when we're looking at Blina and Jamestown, they are the two colonies. Well, they live in colonies called Jamestown and Blina. Jamestown and Blina are not countries, remember? They're just colonies. Well, now it's time to say bye. Bye.